Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Now this game came out back in 2008 for the PS3 and Xbox 360. It was the next Mortal Kombat game that came out after Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and it was actually the first Mortal Kombat game to be released on 7th generation video game consoles. So, you know, Xbox 360, PS3, and so on. So, because this game came out after Mortal Kombat Armageddon and was being released on next gen consoles at the time, expectations were absolutely through the roof. And back then, I bought this game immediately. As soon as it came out, I bought it, took it home, and started playing it. Now, these are my honest thoughts of the game back when I first bought it. Firstly, what really annoyed me about the game was the fact that they included DC Universe characters. I mean, why? Why is it necessary to put comic book characters in a Mortal Kombat game? Personally, I don't give a fuck about comic book characters at all. So, you know, to see them included in a Mortal Kombat game was just really puzzling at the time. And it was annoying, but it didn't really piss me off that much. It was just sort of, why? You know, I was just asking the question, why? Why would you do that? Secondly, the second thing that annoyed me about this game was the fact that there was just hardly any content. There was virtually no content in this game. And you know, after playing Mortal Kombat Deception and Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where there was just so much content in those games, you know, especially the Conquest mode, associated with them. To play this game right after that was a big disappointment because all you've got here is basically a story mode and arcade mode. That's it, you know. So it felt very shallow. And thirdly, and this is what I found to be the most annoying thing about this game, was performing the combos in this game is fucked. Okay, that's the only word to describe it. It's absolutely disgusting and atrocity. It's filth. Okay, performing the combos in this game requires such specific input timing that you will never be able to do it consecutively. You know, it's basically just luck of the draw doing combos in this game. It's absolutely atrocious. Even if you go through practice mode and learn the combos, you will still not be able to consecutively pull them off because it's bullshit. And you know, practice mode involves versing a standing defenseless opponent. <laughs> That's saying something, you know. If you can't even do your combos properly against a standing defenseless opponent, man, you really need to fix something, you know what I mean? So that was the biggest game breaker I found about this game. Just the fact that pulling off the combos was fucking horrendous. Now, I could sit here and say that this is a bad game, it fucking sucks, it's atrocious and all that sort of stuff, but let me explain how I honestly feel about this game. I've been playing this game for the past few days just to get back into it. I'm playing this on the PS3 and look, there are pros about this game. Even though they're very minimal, there are some pros. <laughs> okay. So let me go into the pros now, before I get into the large list of cons. Well, I've pretty much already spoken about the cons, but let me talk about the pros. Firstly, look, it's somewhat comical. You know, the fact that they've included DC Universe characters, it's, it's laughable in a sense, you know, it's absolutely ludicrous. I mean, why would you do that? It's, it's silly. You know, if you like the DC Universe, if you like comic book characters, then man, you're going to be in heaven here because combining DC Universe with Mortal Kombat, you'll love it. Personally, I think it's unnecessary. The second pro is, and this is probably the most important pro I feel about this game, is that if you look at this game, in a sense, it was a prototype, okay? A prototype for future Mortal Kombat games. More specifically, the fighting engine was a prototype. So if you look at the Mortal Kombat 9 fighting engine, if you look at the Mortal Kombat X fighting engine, 
you can see strong similarities between them and this game and that's because this game basically changed once again the fighting engine of Mortal Kombat. We already saw a change in the fighting engine from Mortal Kombat 4 or Mortal Kombat Gold should I say to Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and once again here we saw the change in the fighting engine from Mortal Kombat Armageddon to Mortal Kombat vs DCU. So once again it took an adjustment to learn the whole fighting engine and get used to it. And it's important in that regard because I mean Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X are fucking fantastic Mortal Kombat games. So this game in a sense was basically a prototype for future great Mortal Kombat games. And also if you guys have heard of the game called Injustice Gods Among Us, probably you have. It was made by Netherrealm as well. I haven't played it, but it really looks like a good game, and if you like DC Universe, I'd probably say go with that game as opposed to this, because the fighting engine on that looks fantastic. So yeah, they're pretty much the pros, the only pros I can think of about this game. Now the cons. <laughs> Buckle in, because here we go. Look, this is, I feel honestly, this is a bad game. It's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's bad, okay? It has flaws, and I pretty much spoke about them just before. The combos, how atrocious they are to pull off, um, the fact that they included DC Universe characters, which isn't that bad, but still, it's unnecessary, I feel. Another con is sidestepping in this game. To do it, you have... Oh, look, I think the best way... I can explain this game fully is just to get into the game and start playing it. So let me just go straight into it here. I'm going to be doing an arcade playthrough. I mean look at this, all we've got here is arcade mode, story mode, combo challenge, whatever. You can just practice combos in practice mode anyway. But combo challenge, let me tell you guys something. If you have actually managed to complete all of the combo challenges with all characters in this game, I salute you, I kowtow to you, I bow down, I kiss your feet. Whoever has done this is a god and I respect you fully because it is absolute, I cannot even stress how fucking horrendous the combos are to pull off. The timing is, you know, you've got like within one frame of input to put the combos in. It's disgusting. It is appalling. I'm already getting angry guys, I don't want to get angry, I just want to stay focused and calm for this playthrough, but it is a Mortal Kombat game, so take note of that, we're facing Mortal Kombat AI here, I'm not changing the difficulty, I'm leaving it on medium, it's bad, okay, the AI is fucking horrendous. Let's get started. So as you can see there, we've got Mortal Kombat characters on the left and the DC characters on the right. Okay, so here's the character select screen. Let's go through it. Firstly, if you press the R1 button here, it will bring up, as you can see, Shao Kahn, and if you press right, Dark Side. Okay, I can't select them because I haven't unlocked them. To unlock them, you need to complete story mode through the Mortal Kombat path and the DC Universe path. I have not done it and I will not do it I did it back in the day, and it was very unfulfilling to say the least. The story is absolutely far-fetched, unbelievable, and I just didn't care for it. So I won't be choosing any of those characters. So let's go through the characters. We've got Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Sonya Blade, Shang Tsung, Katana, Baraka, Kano, Raiden, Liu Kang, and Jax. So pretty much all the staples of the Mortal Kombat franchise are here. I can't really fault any of them because, you know, they're all pretty good in their own right. So let's go through the DC Universe characters. As you can see, we've got the Joker, Catwoman, The Flash, Superman, Batman, The Green Lantern, Captain Marvel, Lex Luthor, Deathstroke, and Wonder Woman. I haven't even heard of a lot of these DC Universe characters. Oh, look, I've heard of them, but 
I'm not too familiar with them. Like, of course, I know Batman, Superman, the Joker, you know, but Deathstroke, I'm not really familiar with this guy. He does seem quite cool, though. He's got a gun. I always like playing as characters that have guns in fighting games because <laughs> I just think it's really cool, you know, shooting your opponent. I love it. Lex Luthor, I know he's the enemy of Superman. And over here, we have the Green Lantern. I think I've seen him in a cartoon ages ago. You know, I do have an understanding of these characters on a very basic level. So look, for this playthrough, I'm going to be playing as the Joker because I think this game's a fucking joke. So I'm playing the character that this game deserves. Let's go ahead and select him. The Joker. If you press start, you'll be able to choose an alternate outfit as well, by the way. So look at this, you can choose your opponents, either only Mortal Kombat opponents, mixed, you know, Mortal Kombat and DC Universe opponents, or just DC Universe opponents. <laughs> you can tell what the developers were thinking, they were like, oh, should we have made this just a Mortal Kombat game, or maybe just a DC Universe game? Okay, how about both, we'll just put them both in, you know, whatever, I'm just going to choose mixed. So there's the tower, so to speak. Dark Khan is always the final boss. And the second last character to verse is always either Shao Khan or Darkseid. One of the two. I guess Darkseid's the bad guy of the DC Universe. So there's about, I don't know, ten fights, roughly. So here we go. Let's get straight into it. Versing Shang Tsung here. Put it there. Put her there! Oh my god. Okay, let me just start doing some combos. Ooh, here we go. So yeah, look, MK vs DC Universe introduced some new fighting modes. So here we've got what you just saw there was called Free Fall Combat. Basically... Oh, okay, let me just focus here. Basically when you do that, um... You know, you've got to press either square, triangle, X or circle as you're falling down to attack your opponent. That's on the PS3, that is. Square, triangle, X or circle. And then if you build up meter enough, you can press R1 and do a special and slam them into the ground. Your opponent can counter. And it's pretty much similar to doing this. I'll show you in a minute. But if your opponent presses the same button as you do as you're falling down, they will counter it. And they will be the attacker, not the one getting attacked. Alright, so it's the same as doing this. So look, I'm going to press square and then triangle. Okay, see? He just counted it because he pressed triangle at the same time I did. So that's called close combat and you do that by pressing R1. Okay. And also, as you can see below my health bar at the top there, I've got two yellow bars and two lightning bolts. If you build that up fully, you can use what's called your rage. Okay, so that's technically called your rage meter, those two bars. When it's full as it is, you press L2 and R2 together and you go into rage mode. Basically, you just do more damage, as you can see, and your opponent has a hard time blocking and you can absorb hits without being interrupted. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so Shang Tsung is going to die now. Take that. And here we go, let's do the Joker's Fatality, the first one. <laughs> Listen to that laugh. You really get sick of hearing that laugh after a while, that's for sure. So, if you guys don't know, that was actually one of Shang Tsung's fatalities in Mortal Kombat 9. Which is pretty cool, actually, because, you know, in Mortal Kombat 9, that was basically a reference to this game. But in the Mortal Kombat 9 fatality, when Shang Tsung does it, it's not actually the Joker, per se, that comes out. It's more of a clown. Looks stupid. Okay. Fuck 
second now. The combos. Okay, I'm going to start. Let me just focus. I want to start trying to do some combos. Okay, that one's pretty hard to pull off. Okay, here we go. Free fall combat. Let's do it. So there you go. Bang. On the left, you can see the bar there. Once you build it up enough, you can perform a special move by pressing R1 and you'll slam the opponent down into the ground. I really hate it when the AI counters it. It's fucking bullshit. It pisses me off. Okay, let's go Kano. Yeah, it's really hard to get that gunshot to come out. I just can't do it. <laughs> You know, maybe like one time out of seven, I can do it. So he does have some funny moves, the Joker. You know, this thing here. When you do this move, he builds his rage meter a little bit, which is good. But mine's already full. Let's do it, and let's do his other fatality. <laughs> the Joker wins. Yep, what do you guys think of that fatality? Quite uneventful, isn't it? Very lame, should I say. You know, this game, that's another downside about this game. It really toned down the violence, the gore, which is what the Mortal Kombat games are all about. So that fucking sucks. And you know, a lot of the characters don't even have fatalities. If you play as some of the good guys, you know, like Superman or Batman, they don't even have fatalities. They've got what's called heroic brutalities, and it's just appalling. You know, they don't kill their opponent. They just maim them, so to speak. It's just... It's an absolute insult to Mortal Kombat games. Sickening. Okay, so Sonya's really kicking my ass here. Yep, okay, let's see if I can counter. I tend to just press the same button, okay? I press square there, nothing happened. Fuck you, Sonya. Get into rage. Pretty much get Pretty much getting into rage is essential for beating this game. Especially once you start getting up the ranks. I mean it's not too bad here, but trust me. Oh, get fucked. It's gonna start getting real bad. Once we get up to the fifth character and on. Put her there! <laughs> okay. Fuck off! Oh man, and that's. That's another annoying thing about this game. Hang on. Oh my god, the breakers. Stop it! Yeah, another annoying thing about this game is when you jump and press like triangle or square to do a punch. It's, you've got to purposely delay pressing it, because if you don't, you'll do it too early, as you can see, and you just completely miss your opponent. It's absolutely fucked, I can't even explain it, it's just something you've got to get used to. It's so unnatural, I can't even express. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, I'm sick of that laugh already. God. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> I get it, he's the Joker, but man, can he just shut up for once in a while? Okay. Some of the stages in this game are pretty good, I'll have to give it that, you know. Some of the music is not bad. But overall, it's just a bad fighting game, you know, the mechanics. The fighting engine hasn't been fully tweaked yet, you know, here. It was pretty much solid in Mortal Kombat 9 and... Oh, so Deathstroke, yeah, he's pretty cool, he's got a gun. Fuck yeah, gotcha. Okay. Fuck! Okay, so he's got me. Can I reverse it? Of course not. Fucking hell, wow, he's pounding me! And anyway, the only max amount of damage you can do there is 30%, so... I don't know what he was thinking. Here, take a playing card to the face. Or that. <laughs> oh 
here. All right, let's go. Yeah, the AI loves doing breakers in this game. You can do a break yourself pretty much in the same fashion as Mortal Kombat 9. You know, if you're getting attacked by a combo, you just press forward and block, and that removes one bar of your rage meter. I don't like doing it because I like saving up for rage. When I get into rage, all I do is the 1-1-2 one, one, combo. Seems to work pretty well. Alright, you're done. Get out. Get out. Just please stop now. Oh man, what am I doing? If he kills me... What the fuck? <laughs> man, I'm just getting too cocky, you know? I've got to remember that this is Mortal Kombat AI. Look, it's not that bad in this game, but it just gets worse as you go up the ladder. And I, I can't even explain it. You'll just have to witness it yourself. Okay, I'm going to do something to Deathstroke now. Take that combo, you piece of shit. Take a throw. I've almost got rage, but I don't think I'll actually, you know what, I'm not even risking it, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Let's do the lame fatality again, shall we? If you can even call it a fatality. Look at that, I mean, you see a bit of blood come out, but... As he's doing it, it just feels... It just feels like nothing, it just feels empty, void. <sighs> Okay, so who are we facing now? I didn't see on the tower screen. Oh, this is a pretty cool stage. I like the graveyard stage here. Okay, Sub-Zero, let's go. Fight! Oh, I hate that move. Get out of here, take that combo. Oh no! Fucking hell! Fucking Okay, look. I want to remain calm, but I think this game is just going to frustrate me too much. Have I even mentioned this yet? When you sidestep, you can't. Fucking hell, okay, let me just get into rage here and kill Sub Zero for this round. Fucking disgusting. He might kill me. He's got rage himself. Yeah. Okay, that was lucky. When you go into rage mode, by the way, you take the same amount of damage you would normally, so... You're not spared in that regard, okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, sidestepping. God, it's... Fucking... Oh, that punch when you... Here we go. Yeah, you can sidestep in this game, so it's not really a 2D plane that we're playing on, per se. It's 3D, but to do the sidestep, you have to hold L2 while you're pressing up or down. That, trust me guys, that takes some getting used to. And when I first started playing this game again in the past few days, I was really frustrated with it because I was just pressing up by default to try and sidestep, you know, used to Tekken and other 3D fighting games that have that maneuver. Fuck! Have that maneuver. I've got to really just focus here. Good on you, Sub Zero. Well done. You're a hero. Fucking piece of shit. I hate this game. I just. Look, I don't hate it. Hate is a strong word, but... The Joker. I don't know. I'm disgusted, should I say, by this game. Appalled. Sickened. It's playable, you know. It's, it's a playable game. And it does have some comedic value to it, but... The whole way it plays is just inexcusable, you know. Okay, so I've just got to... 
try and beat Sub Zero here. Man! It seems like whenever you jump, the AI either jumps. I mean, not. Fuck, why is that missing? I'm, I'm so frustrated, guys. I can't even explain it. Like, this is on medium. This is. Wh why is it so hard? Like, I can't do combos. Like, they just know. They know what I'm doing, and they react to it. I was throwing bombs, so of course Sub-Zero didn't get close. And now, when I try and get close... Of course, he does the fucking... That shit. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Fuck you, Mortal Kombat AI. Fucking hate it. Just fucking stop it! Just get out. Just please. <laughs> Just finish him. <sighs> Sub Zero wins. I've I did about five playthroughs prior to doing this run through, and look for every playthrough. I died at least once. Okay, let me emphasize at least. At least once. I never got through it without dying, but this is really um, proving to be a bit difficult now. So I'm just going to remain silent for this fight and defeat Sub Zero here. Fight! Okay, that's good. Oh, oh, oh man. What the fuck? <sighs> okay, at least we didn't. Ooh, I counted that. Let's try again. They always just seem to get the upper hand over me. I mean, look, you should really be looking at the bottom right hand corner of the screen to see what they're doing, but I don't know, there's just so much going on, I can't really focus on that. Okay, that didn't come out for some reason, that's a shame. All right, I've got rage and I'm using it. Speechless, absolutely speechless. I should have played this on easy, I knew it. Why the fuck aren't the combos coming out? For fuck's sake, there's so much... Here we go. So much focus is required, you know. Every move has to be input so precise. It, it's just unacceptable. It is completely unacceptable. There is no other way to describe it. Put her there! Put her there! There we go, take a pistol whip to the face. Okay, last round. If I get rage, I should be able to do it. Breaker, good, he can't use rage now. Breaker, good, he can't use any more. Oh no, I didn't want that. 
Okay, I'm not going to press X because that's all they seem to... Fuck! I knew I should have pressed R1. I got a bit greedy, tried to do an extra hit. And now Sub-Zero has the upper hand. Yes, that's it. Oh no! Okay, there we go. God. I'm dropping a lot of the combos here, guys. Trust me, I can do... I've actually done all of the Joker's trials. All of his combos. Each character, you know, if you want to learn how to do their combos, they have 10 trials each. And, you know, like I said before, if you can actually do all of them, my hat goes off to you. Well done. I've only done the Jokers here because he's the only character I've been learning how to play. But it took me about an hour to get through those 10 trials, probably more, probably like an hour and a half. And for some of the combos, I had to go online and look up videos on how to do them, you know, to see when the correct timing was to actually input them. It's just fucking disgusting. Yep. Seem to be versing all the really tough characters here. Scorpion, Sub-Zero. <laughs> it's just laughable now. Like, I'm getting so destroyed here by the AI. Thank you for coming out. Okay. Whenever they get rage, I tend to just jump away. Too dangerous. Yep, he got me. Probably could have defeated him if I was doing the combos correctly. Put her there! That's actually a counter as well, by the way. So if they hit you while you're doing that, see? You'll zap them, which is pretty good. Okay, come on, Scorpion. I've got rage now. What are you going to do? Let's see you block all these. Come on, while I'm in rage. You block it all the other times, but you can't when I'm enraged. I, you know what, I find these close combat moments to just... I just find them annoying, like it takes... You, you're in the moment, you're fighting, and I just find that it slows the fights down. Like, I just don't want it to happen, I just want to keep focusing on the fight. It sort of ruins my momentum, you know what I mean? Throw, of course, I was blocking, so the AI knew that. Fuck, if I can get rage, I can I can do it. Okay. Yes, okay. Let's do this appalling fatality once again. How can you kill someone with a playing deck of cards anyway? You know what I mean? It's so stupid. It just doesn't even make sense. Okay, so we're facing the Joker next. This will be interesting. Okay, so it's a mirror match here. Let's see what I can do. Fuck! God damn it. Got me. These combos are going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Okay, I've got the upper hand so far. See what I mean? It just... Ooh, I countered that straight away. Very good. Come on, Joker. I've got rage now. Whenever you get rage, use that shit straight away. I should probably be using the Joker's move... 
that builds his rage meter up and just doing that for the whole game, you know. Just trying to get into rage. So this move here, see how I built a bit of my rage meter? I should probably really be focusing on that. <laughs> no, that's unblockable, the bomb. Wow. <laughs> Whoops, didn't want to do that. Put her there! Okay, fucked up the combo. You know, I have trouble doing these combos. Okay, spoke too soon, I just did it. That's a hard, you know, I know I keep saying it, but the combos are just really hard to do. Okay, at least this fatality is somewhat respectable, you know, blows his head off with a revolver. You don't really see it happen, you just see a bit of blood and your opponent falls over, but still, it's a fatality. Okay, so we're almost done. The flash and then dark side, and then after dark side will be the final boss, Dark Khan. So with Dark Side and Dark Khan, I'm just going to show you guys an exploit to defeat them because if you try and play normally, even though it can be done, it's too frustrating and I don't want to deal with it. And this exploit doesn't even really work, to be honest anyway, but if you can... Oh my god. Alright, I've got to stop. Wow! Maybe I should hold block. And as soon as I let go, I get attacked. Okay, and I was holding block too long, and the AI registered that and grabbed me. There is nothing I can do here. Okay, except that. The Flash! Good on you, Flash man. You're a hero. Yep, do those fast punches. Didn't want to do that. Okay, I've got rage. That's it, that's enough. My god. Speechless, breathless, soulless. Why the fuck is that move coming out after that? This move. Please just thank you. Goodbye. The trusty uppercut always comes in handy. <laughs> Mid air. <laughs> uh. Jumping is really a bad thing to do against the AI in this game. I mean, all I've done this whole round is tried to jump, and he has countered it in every way imaginable. And because of that stupid delayed punch in the air, you basically just stop dead in your tracks. And you know, half the time when I hit the opponent, I don't even expect it. Okay, I've got rage, so... Yes, okay, good. I'm only going to do the decent fatality from now on. That card one is not worth showing anymore. Fatality. This is a bad game, guys. It's a bad game. This is causing me stress playing it. I'm gaining no satisfaction even from pulling off the combos. You know... It's just not, I don't want to say it's that bad, it's unplayable, because it's playable, you know. It's got some charm, the graphics are decent, the characters are cool to some degree, but it's just frustrating. That's all I can say, it's frustrating to play. Okay, I was going to try and do some exploit here on Dark Side, but we'll see if I can defeat him normally. Might be possible actually. 
Come on, dark side, come here. Rage, okay, get away, I need to get away. Bye, ouch, I was jumping away, so he did that. Oh God, man, there's just, <laughs> there's just a lot of jumping going on. <laughs> Everyone's jumping, no one knows what's going on. <laughs> Oh, of course I jumped so the AI did a jump punch on me and if I didn't then he would have just done a regular combo I can guarantee it okay so the exploit I was talking about is just doing this 1-1-2 one, one, punch combo that's it it's it's a pretty quick combo and it tends to stop dark side Shao Kahn and Dark Khan in their tracks. Not all the time, but... Okay, yeah, you gotta get the timing really down pat as well. Jesus, what a combo! Okay, square, square, square. Super move. 26%, I'll take it. And I need Rage to defeat him. Oh man, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just really nervous. Okay. That's fine. I expect to lose against Darkseid and Dark Khan. So that's not a problem. We'll try again. The Joker. The Joker. Yep, this game is a fucking joke. Playing a game that's a fucking joke as the Joker. Nothing more even needs to be said. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Goodness me! Haven't even touched him! Dark side wow! He got a, uh, flawless yeah, flawless victory! Round two. Okay, let's try 1-1-2. One, one, See how he went to do a kick? I'm gonna try and hold off from using... Oh yeah, okay, so this is Test Your Might, we haven't seen this yet. Basically, you just mash all the buttons, and that will determine if you either do damage or take damage, okay. Fuck, he's doing it to me. So I've got to mash it to counter. Okay, good. I only took 1% damage. I like that because it's sort of easy to counter and easy to inflict damage. Okay, I've got rage. Let's go. Yep. <sighs> oh, come on. Fuck, I'm so, I'm so nervous. God, I... Okay. It's okay. Mash it. Zero. Good. I'm worn out. I'm just... I'm exhausted. I'm worn out. I'm tired. I've had enough. I just hate this. I hate it. The Joker. You know, even doing the 1-1-2 one, one, exploit is somewhat difficult to do because you've just got to get You've, you've got to start pressing 112, more specifically the 1. You have to press it at the correct moment immediately after you do your previous 112 combo. The 1 has to be pressed at the correct moment. It can't be delayed, it can't be hurried, it has to be pressed at the specific moment. 
don't make me use rage just to jeez I thought I was going to have to use rage just to get that final hit in because once he gets going on you sort of hard to stop him ok here we go watch you'll spin me around for sure yep oh I got him ok there we go I'll take that let's go Thank you, and for being a pain in the ass, you are going to take a gunshot to the head. Please leave now. Good. The Joker wins. I've had enough of you, I've had enough of this game. Fatality. Sick of it. I'm absolutely fucking sick of it. Dark Khan, okay, let's kill him. Same strategy, 112, 112, 112, 112, rage, 112, 112, 112, rage, 112, 112. That is it. You know, of course you can defeat him normally, but it's too frustrating. I don't want to deal with it. Especially as I'm talking and playing at the same time, it'll be rather difficult. Shit, I mistimed the combo and he got in. I'm going to use Rage because I'm too fucking nervous here. Okay, so I should be able to defeat him first go. If I do, I'll be very happy. Love their breakers, the AI. Why am I even trying to play normally? What the hell is wrong with me? I'm trying to I'm trying to do combos and shit. Okay, there we go. Something. He'll probably defeat me this round, but at least for the next round I'll have rage, yeah. I should have rage the next round. And should be able to kill him. Get into the bomb, please. Fuck, I can never do that combo effectively. Okay, I've got rage. Please use it. He does too. Jump away, jump away. Oh god, jump. Jump. No. God, I just can't... Yep. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's the last boss. I don't really care. Let's continue once again. As you can see, I'm continuing quite a lot here. I'm really struggling to play this game. It's, it's just so hard, you know. And whenever you fail a combo, you just feel like your morale has been shot to shit. You're just, you're sort of disappointed with yourself, you know. Like, you say to yourself, I should have done that combo, why didn't it work? This is fucked. And then you start hating it. You know. Okay, got him there, good. Wow, how much damage do I have to do before I get that meter going? It's atrocious. God, that jump is fucking annoying. I've got rage. Don't know what to say anymore. Really don't. I just hate it. I want it to stop. I want this to end. It's just continuous suffering playing this game. Continuous. 
And that move there as well, that's fucked because this this move where you grab them and do the kicks to the face. Because what you gotta do is you gotta mash the circle button to do more kicks. You can do it a maximum of uh hang on. Oh here we go. Yeah, you can do it a maximum of like six times, but it's extremely difficult to do it six times. You have to have extremely fast fingers, like I mean, I can't even describe how fast you have to press that circle button to get those six kicks to come out. You can practice it in practice mode. It took me a very long time, but I think the trick is, as soon as you do that move, like as soon as you press back forward circle to do it, you've just got to mash circle immediately after that. No hesitation, just start mashing it like crazy. And then it tends to work, but, you know, like all the combos in this game, it won't work all of the time, but... It should work if you're committed to doing it. I just can't be bothered mashing the button that fast, you know what I mean? Just to get an extra two kicks in, or whatever, do an extra 2% damage. It's pointless. Kinda like this fucking game. Okay, watch, you'll flip me over. Yep. Oh, I got him. Wow. That's rare. Put her there. Put her there. I'm just gonna try. Oh yeah. If you try and keep him at bay, he'll just jump towards you. Fuck this combo. Fuck this game. Give me five! Give me five. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Tell you what, I'm not laughing, that's for sure. You may be Joker, but I certainly am not laughing. Okay, I've got rage, let's do it. Yeah, here, I knew he was going to use it, and I've got to keep away. See, as soon as you jump away, you just fucking... Fuck! I don't... Okay. Fuck that... You know what I'm talking about. That stupid jumping punch. It's the worst. I've had enough. This is all I'm doing. Absolutely fucking sick of this. Fuck playing normally. Can't stand it anymore. I'm still gonna hit anyway. Now please go away. Thank you. We have finally defeated Dark Khan. That's not funny at all. Turns into a pool of lava. Who gives a shit? And here's the Joker's ending. As the world separated, the Joker discovered he had retained his new powers. With them, he soon controlled all of Gotham, proclaiming himself Mayor Joker. Under his rule, the city devolved into chaos. He now holds a tournament in which contestants are forced to fight to the death for his amusement. The winner will face off against the Joker himself. Okay, riveting. That was worth it, wasn't it? Wow. What an amazing ending. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Fucking shit. I'm just... You know, that just caused me a lot of frustration, anger, bitterness, and hate. Yes, I'm using that word, hate. It's a bad game, let's not lie. This is a bad fighting game. The only positives about it are the fact that it's somewhat comical. It's got Mortal Kombat characters in it and it was the prototype for future good Mortal Kombat games. But besides that, there is nothing to say about this game. Unless you're a big fan of the DC Universe characters, then you'll probably find a lot more enjoyment in this game than I do. 
you know, especially if you like both DC Universe and Mortal Kombat characters, then you'll probably really, really like this game. But, I mean, if we're just talking in terms of gameplay, the fighting engine itself, pulling off combos, it's fucking atrocious, okay? I don't want to have to keep repeating it over and over again because I've pretty much said it the whole time while playing through this playthrough, but it's bad, there is nothing more to say. If you want to play it, go ahead and play it, you know, but if you like the DC Universe characters, I'd probably suggest picking up Injustice Gods Among Us, or better yet, playing, you know, just Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat X, if you just want to play a good Mortal Kombat game. If you haven't played this game, skip it. Save yourself the frustration, because it's just not worth it, you know? But anyway, thanks guys. That is my playthrough of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. The Joker wins. Ha 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 ha!